Hi guys, Scott here from Tapas Paranormal and welcome back to another video. So, in this video we're going to be trying a form of divination, specifically tassiography, or tea leaf reading as it's also known. Usually reserved for the likes of mediums and fortune tellers, tassiography, or tea leaf reading, is said to be a way to tell the future or a way to predict things that are to come. So what I've got before me today is a teapot full of boiling water, a teacup, a saucer, and some loose tea leaves to my left. What I'm going to do is I'm going to follow some instructions that you should be able to see to the screen on the right of me here uh, and make the tea, drink the tea, and then do a little reading of my own. Now I'm not an expert at tea leaf reading, I know very little about it, so I'm probably not going to get a lot of things right on this reading, but I will show you the results, and anybody that has more experience than me in reading tea leaves can look for them themselves. So as I understand it, when the tea has been drank, there will be some tea leaves remaining in the cup. These tea leaves can then be read and interpreted in different ways, depending on their position within the cup and the shapes they form. So without further ado, and before my boiling water goes cold, let's make the tea. Here I have some loose breakfast tea leaves that I found online, suggested for tea leaf reading. So I'm going to add a pinch of these to the cup, add some water, and then let it brew for a few minutes. Okay, so I've added a pinch of tea leaves to the cup. I'm now going to add some boiling water. Now I have to leave the tea leaves for a few minutes just to let them brew and to let them infuse within the cup. Apparently, according to the article I'm reading, I should be thinking about the question that I want answered while doing this reading. Now, I hadn't really thought of a question before this, so thinking of one now, I would like to know where my future is going to take me. I would like to know what's coming in my life and generally, you know, what's going to happen. So while this is brewing, I'm going to talk about the reading process. Specifically, it seems that, according to the articles I've read, the rim of the cup seems to represent the present. The sides of the cup seem to represent the medium term, and then the bottom of the cup indicates the distant future. And by looking for certain symbols and patterns and general arrangements of the leaves within the cup, I should be able to denote some sort of future planning here. When it gets to the reading part, I will switch to a second camera, so you'll be able to see a much more up-close angle of the tea leaves. Okay, so it's been a few minutes and now it's time to drink the tea. I'm going to drink the tea and continue to think about the question that I want answered. So without further ado, I'm going to drink the tea and then we'll begin the reading. Okay, so I've drank the tea. Um, <clears throat> interestingly, I tend to have my tea with milk and sugar, so it was a unpleasant cup of tea, but obviously the purpose of this tea wasn't to enjoy. Uh, I've left roughly a teaspoon of tea in the bottom of this cup, and so now I need to take the tea, and so now I need to take the cup in my left hand and swirl it from left to right three times. Then I turn the cup upside down and place it on the saucer where the remaining water will drain, leaving behind the tea leaves ready for the reading process. So let's do the swirling. One, two, three. Okay, so now the tea leaves have been swirled, so I'm going to place the cup upside down on the saucer and give it a minute to drain. <clears throat> so while the tea leaves are draining, um, I'm going to look at a few things that I should be looking for on the tea leaves, as well as set up the second recording camera here, so that you can see the patterns within, and hopefully we can try and interpret it together. Okay, so let's flip it over and take a look and read the tea leaves. So looking in the cup, you can see a fairly even spread of tea leaves. Um, let me just turn the light on here so you can get a better view. So, as you can probably see in the uh, camera angle here, there's a few strenuous tea leaves. Um, there's a big clump in the bottom there. There is a little clump on the left-hand side here. And then there is a few clumps around the bottom. In the base, there's what looks to be a sad face. Um, I think that's probably matrixing. I think a lot of tea leaf reading potentially is caused by matrixing. Uh, I don't think it's a particularly scientific or accurate art. I will say I'm sceptical of it. 
Uh, but I am, of course, willing to be proven wrong. So let's take another look, see what else we can see within. So there is a leaf up on the side here, on the uh, right side of the rim, uh, which I would say resembles a leaf of tea. Uh, looking at it closely, I guess you could say that sort of boat shape or submarine shaped. Um, let's try and get a close angle there for the camera. This one just here. I guess you could say that's uh, submarine or boat shaped. Um, yeah. The sad face that I'm potentially seeing, obviously I'll highlight these on the actual video so you should get some sort of outline on them. I'm seeing in the clump on the side, potentially some initials, um, maybe an N at the top there. Just up there. Uh, again, I'll highlight them on stream so you don't have to deal with me pointing. Um, yeah, there's, there's not anything overly... Again, what I'll do, I'll put a static of the tea leaves on screen now um, and just loop this for a minute so anyone that can read tea leaves should they want to can take a look and let me know if they see anything um, I'm just going to get the list of potential signs to look out for and see if any of those are visible okay so according to tea USA some of the symbols I should be looking out for within my tea leaves are an acorn, an anchor, a heart, heavenly bodies such as the sun, moon or stars, an owl, a palm tree, an elephant, a triangle or a bird or, or a bird. So um, I'm not overly convinced any of that. There's maybe an anchor within the leaves. Um, there may be somewhat of an anchor in there somewhere. I can sort of make out. I wouldn't say I can see any of the other things in there. But again, if you see anything that I've just read out, or if you know anything about tea leaf reading, please let me know what you see. I've also got another list of things that I could potentially see here. Um, it's quite a long list, so I'm just going to skim through. Nothing in there really standing out as a shape to me, though. I wonder if faces... There's no angry or mad faces. Um, any sort of lines or letters? So, the... The potential boat or submarine that I've seen is on the rim, which means it's in my present, whereas the potential anchor and sad face um, are on the base, which means they're in the distant future. On the sides of the cup, where the midterm would be, I don't really see a lot. The potential N and general cluster of tea leaves on the um, sort of rim slash middle don't really stand out to me. So yeah, that was my tea leaf reading. There wasn't much there for me to read as far as I'm concerned. Um, again, I'm not a strong believer in divination, so I don't necessarily know how I feel about this or if I believe it to any real degree. Uh, I think what is seen is potentially matrixing, and much like mediums, I think it's an art form. I think it's a... Um, it's a very skilled trade where you need to interpret things. However, do I believe it? Not really. But let me know in the comments down below if you've seen anything in my tea leaves. If you want to try your own uh, tea leaf reading, I'll put the guides I followed in the description down below. If you do, send me a picture of your cups and your tea leaves on Twitter, uh, at Tap is Paranormal, and I will take a look myself, see what I can see. Um, generally, I think it's an interesting concept something that I don't think has worked here with me doing it. I may potentially go find a fortune teller at some point and get a more professional tea leaf reading done, because uh, I think that could be quite interesting to see how that differs from mine. But yeah, that brings us to the end of the video. So I've been Scott from Tepes Paranormal. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you soon.